For ducks and man alike, it's another picture-perfect day on the shores of Skaha Lake, one of two magnificent freshwater lakes that provide not only beauty and charm, but also in many ways set the pace for the vibrant community of Penticton, British Columbia. On this day, beach preparations were underway for a special event that has been marking the end of Penticton's often long and spectacular summer season since 2000. Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you for coming. This is our uh, 14th annual. After starting small, the Penticton Dragon Boat Festival has grown into one of the best Dragon Boat Festivals in BC, if not all of Canada. And much of it is due to the steady steersmanship of its founder and longtime race director, Don Mohall, a veteran paddler who developed his passion for the sport while living in Vancouver, BC. I started in about 93 or 94 with a corporate Dragon Boat team, and I just, I just loved it. It's 20 people in a boat, and you don't necessarily have to be the strongest. You just have to work well with everybody else, right? And from there, I sort of evolved from that into outrigger paddling. So I race and train more outrigger, but I do all my coaching in Dragon Boat. And you gotta love racing Dragon Boat, even though I'm not very good at it, it's still a ton of fun. In 1996, Don with his wife Lana decided to leave Vancouver and move to the Okanagan, where he would play an important role in advancing the sport of Dragon Boat racing throughout BC. It would all get rolling in 2000, when Don was hired to manage and coach Penticton's first ever Dragon Boat racing team. That same year, the city's Dragon Boat Festival was born. One of the aspects of dragon boating is that it's become sort of the sport of choice for breast cancer survivors. So the original team here in Penticton was survivorship, and quite honestly, they're bulletproof. These women are just amazing. So they were sort of the thin edge of the wedge of paddling here in Penticton, but it, it quite quickly grew, and they were very much helpful in getting more and more teams training in Penticton. So we started the festival just to get local teams here in the Okanagan access to racing so that we could line them up two or three boats side by side and we'd race and it was much more casual. The casual nature of the race would go unchanged until 2008 when it was decided to not only move the festival from Lake Okanagan to the calmer Skaha Lake, but also to expand it from a one to a two day event. The result? Penticton's Dragon Boat Festival sprinted off the line to become a premier paddling event, attracting upwards to 1,600 paddlers a year from BC, Alberta, and beyond to the heart of the Okanagan. Again, it was just to get people the race experience, and people loved it because there hadn't been anything like that, and it grew from six teams to this year we're 73. So I don't know if I want to say it's gotten more serious, but it's gotten to be a much more complete festival. We're racing from a sandy beach, it's a freshwater lake, the water's nice and flat. So that's the sort of racing side of it. But then when you look at the venue, some events you'll go to and the team tents will be in a parking lot or they'll be quite removed from where the racing itself is. And here we've got a great big grassy area where everybody's gonna be setting up the tents and you can see the whole race course. So it's just a great setup for the teams. Uh, we've got tons of vendors now, food vendors and Dragon Boaters seem to like to shop. So there's lots of merchandise stuff, paddling related or otherwise. It's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think as it's gotten bigger, we've attracted faster teams. So if you just look at the racing side of it, we're very much committed to fair racing for everybody. So you're gonna have awesome competition. I think sometimes people think that, that the only people that race or paddle dragon boats are breast cancer survivors. And it's not. This festival this weekend has 35 mixed teams and we have 38 women's teams racing. And the breast cancer teams are nine out of that 38. We have an exhibition team made up of individuals with mental disabilities. And they train uh, once a week, pretty much right through the summer. And they love it. So there's a whole bunch of things that I think make dragon boating great. One of them is just about anybody quite honest, you could get in a dragon boat and with a little bit of coaching, could go out and paddle. It all comes down to being able to work with the rest of the team, how you put the paddle into the water, how you put pressure on the blade through the stroke, and then how you exit the water. And it's anywhere from two minutes to two and a half minutes of racing, and then you're done, and then you pull in and you step off onto your sandy beach and you can head to the beer garden. The successful rhythm of Penticton's Dragon Boat Festival each year hinges on its ability to deliver a quality racing experience for all who participate. For race director Don Mulhall, the key to good racing is a well-coordinated team of volunteers. 
One of the great parts about our festival, and I think it's important to any festival, is the volunteers and how they interact with the people. And as part of the festival, I have a crew marshal, her name is Heather, and she's up in the park a little bit, and she's getting the teams organized that are racing next. And she does an excellent job of knowing exactly when to cycle the next round of teams through. And she is an absolute rock star. My water marshal guys have been doing this for a long time and they have probably the best seat in the house. They're gonna be right behind the boats and they're gonna see who's doing what. And safety's always in the background, right? They're pretty laid back about what's going on and they're pretty cool about the whole thing. But if stuff starts to happen, they, they react pretty quickly and make sure everyone's safe. But the most important interface, I, that's sort of a big techie word, but the best place for my volunteers to deal with the racers is right along this beach here. They're gonna be loading and unloading. So I don't know how best to describe it, but they're gonna spend the entire day standing in a lake. They are just awesome. While the Penticton Dragon Boat Festival consistently gets high marks for organization, it is by no means the only reason Dragon Boat racers from around Canada look forward to their annual trip to the Okanagan. I think it's the team spirit here. There's teams from all over the place, from BC, Alberta, from Washington, and it's a great event. The camaraderie is great. It's fantastic racing right along the beach where all our tents are, and, oh, and the shopping. Yes, the shopping's great. We think it's a fantastic festival. It's very well organized. The water's um, interesting and challenging and really good a lot of times. The weather, the location, the lake, the water is gorgeous. And the people, I mean, it's just, it's a party. It's so much fun. And for us, it's a great way to cap off our Dragon Boat season. Over its two-day run, the Penticton Dragon Boat Festival offers paddlers and spectators plenty to enjoy. Yet the festival wouldn't be complete without its signature breast cancer survivor ceremony, which starts with a spirited race between all the survivor teams. Pretty much any of the larger festivals is gonna have some sort of a breast cancer survivor ceremony. One of the cool things about the Penticton Festival is that rather than have the boats rafted up way out on the water and we can kind of see them from a distance, what we ask the crowd to do is the crowd's gonna come right down onto the beach, right close to the water's edge, and the breast cancer boats, after having raced, then they're gonna pull in and they're gonna pull right up onto the beach. And then they'll say a few words, we'll have a moment of silence, there'll be a song played, usually chosen by the sort of local breast cancer team. And then they've all got carnations and they'll throw them in the water to honor and remember those that are fighting and, and have lost the battle against breast cancer. I've probably been to as many breast cancer survivor ceremonies as anyone um, here in BC, and it, it's still moving and it always seems to add the perfect exclamation point to a festival driven to be the best it can be. Dragon boaters that have come to this event, I want them to feel that they've had a fair opportunity to race and the racing experience is perfect. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.